Guten Tag, Sylvia. Hi, Mikael. Um, let us run CWADM using the initialization files we prepared just and include outputs that we'll get from the Jupyter Notebooks. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we could first open up a Jupyter Notebook in the folder holding the Jupyter Notebook. So perfect. And in the main one. Yes, good. And CWADM. Or even... We could even go one deep, one. yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, one up. And then we go into Toolkit. Uh Ah, yes, this perfect. one was. Mm -hmm. CMD, perfect. Jupyter Notebook. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then into Water Cycles. Great. Let us copy everything from out map daily. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And let's take this into uh, our settings file. Within the other repository, right GitHub, see what I'm earth. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Settings template. So all the way down. Oh, perfect. Here. And just replace Correct. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we need one more output. This out underscore map underscore total end equals cell area. Mm -hmm. This one. And it looks like Which we already have it here. Is already, yeah. Okay. So we can just uncomment it. Okay, and it looks here like we already had the out underscore map underscore daily equals all these variables, but sometimes these variables update. So since we updated uh, GitHub last time, it was just good to take these variables as they come from the notebook, but it looks like we just already had them here. Okay, uh, let's check the initialization files we created. Let's make sure they're there this time. Yes. <laughs> In it folder cool okay files, yes. so let us do like a three-month run would you prefer to do a, a winter-like run or a summer-like run hmm. let's do summer since okay. we are in summer okay. <laughs> no. can you copy the name of the the second one which is this one. starting the first of june in 2010 yeah so yeah just copy this name and let's go back to the settings file ah uh, so this is the day 2010 Zero six zero one. Zero six zero one. Okay. It's like the reversed okay. the reversed order of a typical European date order. Yes. Okay. Name copied. Okay, and let's go to the settings file. Where? Can, yeah, almost there. Scroll down just slightly. Just past this. Yeah, the initial conditions. Okay, now we're going to change load initial to equal true. And instead of Ryan underscore so and so, just replace the name we um, copied. Yes. And you'll have to include the dot nc. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's change save initial to equal false now so we don't overwrite the initial files we just created. Okay, and now let's do a, a three-month run. So let's start from maybe exactly the, the first, uh, not here, just the section just above. Above? Uh, ah, here, yeah, yes. Perfect. So let's set it for the f yeah, 1st June 2010. And step end. 31 August? Um, yeah. Sure, we could, we could just do like... Uh, nine actually yeah yes yeah, okay. so we'll get june july august and we stop the first of september with no spin-up period so we'll generate outputs right from the first day of simulation mm -hmm. no okay um we have the outputs in there we change the dates okay let's save this and let's run see what m the model okay
open up a command prompt and yeah, CMD, perfect, natural. Yeah. Activate the virtual environment, work on Sylvia, great. And uh, run the model. Um, folder. And then the name of location of CYM, perfect. Run underscore. Perfect. CYM. Name of location of the model slash run underscore CYM.py. Space. Then the setting file. Yeah, space settings file. And minus L. Perfect. Perfect. All correct? Correct. <laughs> Enter. Okay, while this is happening, could you go to the settings file? I just want to check one setting. And scroll, yeah. scroll down just slightly. I'm looking for something that says limit abstraction. So limit abstraction equals true. Okay, it's just a, something we yes, have sir. to make sure to put in the new notebook. So maybe let's go back to the Jupyter Notebook and scroll down slightly. Okay, so right here we could, yeah, scroll down. Yeah, this is great. Keep scrolling down, scroll down slightly. Yeah, so this whole section. Okay, so limit abstraction equals true. I... Ah, uh, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. We're gonna set it equal to I've just forgotten. It's it's equal to false or to true? Uh, I think it was true as well. Okay, perfect. So yes. that means that no fossil water will be used in this simulation. Um, while we're waiting, we can also update the output folder. Okay. Um... Which should be the output folder? Uh, in this we, case? I guess we can find it in the settings file. Let's go to the settings file and well, scroll down slightly. Last time it was this one. Okay, so perfect. 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 Ah, perfect. okay. So it's still okay. On. Yeah. And they highlight this whole address bar. Mm -hmm. And then we can take this into the notebook and just replace everything within the single quotation marks in output folder equals, yeah, great. Okay. Okay, we can replace the latitude and longitude as well, which we also have from the settings file. Was it up or down? And slightly down. Down, yes. Yeah. So this goes, uh, and just up, we just passed it, <laughs> the mask map here. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. So this goes longitude, latitude. So put uh, in the other direction. So put that one. Ah, they are, the first one is the longitude? The first one is longitude, I believe. Ah, okay. And this one is latitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, everything else is fine. So once the model is finished running, we can run this notebook. Um, perhaps we can check on the status of the model. Ah, oh, finished. Awesome. Finished. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, we can minimize this and then just hit the double. Okay. Just a little break. Um, it wants you to touch, um, like put in your Guthaben credit. <laughs> okay.
Okay, and we can assistance required. <laughs> <laughs> and we can hit the double arrow up here. This one? Yeah. Uh, ah, yes, that reruns the notebook. Yep, and then this restart. Sure, okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did we not run these before? Ah, you know what the thing is? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep being reminded about it. But before we typed in Jupyter Notebooks, we didn't activate your environment. In Jupyter Notebook? You well, mean? pre Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so let's. This is saved. Ah, yes, pre <laughs> okay. Jupyter Notebook. Let's close these browsers. Okay. And but just, this is saved now? It's what, saved. This should be saved. We did? Okay. Yeah, just um, hitting the double arrow also works to save. So leave this page. Yeah. Page and this as well. Yeah, okay. and then in this in this command prompt that's already open, you see it just in behind. Yeah, go here and mm -hmm. and hit Control C. This not, one? Not in this one, the other uh -huh. one. Yeah, this one. And hit Control C or are you using an English or German keyboard? Uh, English. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Control C. And actually, if you do Control C, Control C is like hold Control and hit the C. Yeah, great. Now. Let's do work on Sylvia. Um, yeah. Okay. So now we see like restarts the. Yes. Mm -hmm. It sort of shuts down what's being run. Mm -hmm. And just with the J U P. Yeah. J U P Y. Super. This is always a good exercise in remembering to activate the virtual environment. Yeah, so many single things to remember. Okay, here it is. So what we changed before is here. Yes. Great. And okay. now we just, yeah, double arrow. Yeah. Okay, let's zoom out on this map. Okay, good. So we see. Let's zoom out even even more. We should. We could change somehow the strength of the uh, points, but mm -hmm. to see the pattern. Okay, that's our Danube basin. Mm -hmm. And now we can look at the map of discharge. So this is over the s three summer seasons: June, July, and August. Yes. And this is the discharge. Yeah. No, the, the, the strongest points of discharge are in the basin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's scroll down and see these uh, water circles. Mm -hmm. So in the summer season, the outputs are greater than the inputs. Which, so evaporate. yeah, makes sense. Right. <laughs> we would assume in the wet season or the winter seasons that it would be the opposite. So we see that there's um, in storage change. Do you want to click on the gray button storage change? Right. So in all four storage compartments, soil moisture, that's the soil star, rivers, lakes and reservoirs, and groundwater all have less water at the end of the summer months than they did at the beginning of the summer months. Mm -hmm. We can click on storage change again. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's, uh, ah, there's one thing I wanted us to do. 